What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I have a 2017 and this goes for all the Luma duties. I don't know if you guys are experiencing this problem, but yes, this is your trans lines in the front of your truck. Follow along with me tonight and I show you how to replace these as clean as you can. All right, let's do it. guys thanks so much for coming back and checking us out make sure to hit that like and subscribe this is nasty I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this but this is a 2017 f-250 and we are going to be replacing the trans lines you can see what they look like on the side of the engine we're going to be removing that and man that bolt is not looking good. We're gonna try our hardest, and also it's all nasty. So I'm gonna wipe down the side of this radius arm so that I'm not getting myself all nasty. And then we're gonna try to weasel these all the way out. Now this is gonna get a little tricky trying to get the lines through uh, this area. I'm gonna try and remove the steering shock dampener. I'm going to take this 15 mil bolt out. I'm going to swing this shock all the way around to the driver's side. I'm going to loosen and remove these two nuts on this side. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and I'm going to pull down and let the sway bar sit down below, you know, like down here. So I'll have this whole spot open so that when I put these trans lines in, I can put the long section in here but I have rubber lines right here. So if all this is out of my way, I'll be able to flimsy these lines over this metal bar um, and get that in. I don't know if I wanna remove this from the truck. I mean, I guess if I have to, I have to, but I'm gonna try not to. I've already gone ahead and disconnected these you can see it's not seated all the way all I have to do is pop these off and then the uh, cooler the cooler coolant lines will come off uh, what I'm gonna do to remove these I'm gonna cut these lines here and take the cooler and these lines down as an assembly and then take these ones out of the truck however I can it's just putting them back in is what's gonna be the biggest pain in the butt all right, I'm gonna try and go for these connectors here underneath the passenger side. The side of this radius arm is disgusting. We'll see if we can successfully remove this. All right, we got it off. This button here, this sensor here has got a little white tab that we need to uh, pull back. Some of these sensors and connectors are already are different looking depending on what year your truck is and what adapter housing you had. But we have five uh, bolts holding this on, four of which are eight millis, and we have a 10 milli stud and nut that holds this battery cable on. So we're gonna be kind of fighting, fighting with that. This one looks kind of gnarly. Let me get some hand tools. We'll bust that loose first and see if we can minimize our risk. Eight milli hand tools. Let me know if you guys have replaced your trans lines. It would really suck if you had to do them at home. I mean, I guess that's kind of the only place where you guys can do them. Doubt you're gonna have access to a hoist. I mean, if you did, that'd be really cool. I mean, I wish I did. All right, I lost all these loose. That one was good. How about this one hiding back here? I need a longer extension. Let's see if I can get this one. I used a mirror. This one didn't look as bad as the other one here in the front, or in the back rather. Finger it. Ah, there we go. A lot of times, being a mechanic or a technician, whatever you want to call us. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm leaving that in. Rod. Rod. Oh. It's 
straight rotted. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry. Where, where they leak a lot is where those fucking retaining clips are, you know? Those These? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty rotted there. Yes, it is. <laughs> Fuck. The cooler okay? Yeah. Huh? Is what? You're all one? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Tell me about it. Fuck. You remember the recall when they first came out? Yeah. I remember having to do a couple of those. I said FML then, and I'm saying FML now. <laughs> yeah, right. Can't tell the condition. Did I grab a 10 milli? Yeah. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, she still got fucking sides. All right. Son of a bitch. Fucking A right we do, bud. <laughs> Fucking A right we do, bud. Maybe I need a shorter extension. Too long. Okay, there's the studly do right. Trying to wiggle it on. No wiggle. WTF. Okay, this should not be an 11. I'm gonna put an 11 on here. Going against my better judgment. Okay, definitely went over it. Could be just crusty. Okay, I feel it's starting to round. Okay, so it's gotta be a 10. All right, put the tenny back on. So I can't get in here to tap it on or anything. Oh, I think I got a get in a bite. Hold on. I think I got a bite now. Maybe I had oh, like some scale nastiness built up. Let me see if I can just keep this on here. Let me get some electrics. Electrics that was good or not. I think that pulled out the bolt as well. God diggly dang it. I did it. So that means one of two things. Either I am going to be leaving this just like this, or I'm going to have to try to break loose that stud and nut once I get this thing out of here. Okay, verify we still got nothing stud. Yep. Okay, that's exactly what happened. And get it out of my way. Alright. I might be able to deal with that later. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't think you can. Alright, I'm gonna eight milling all these bad boys out. You could replace these, but. I'll leave that up to you guys. Ah. Hey, Mr. B. Mr. Double B. How's the audio? I don't know if you guys can tell anything different, but we actually have a uh, powered mic we're using, so hopefully the audio is going to be good when I come time to edit this. Now, I have had the filter off for couple of hours because I didn't want to fight the oil dripping. So most of it has relieved itself. But now it's basically just breaking the, the seal, the gasket on the back of here, which we are going to replace that one. So now that this is off, you guys can see already the more direct shot we have, you see how gnarly this is. Isn't that nasty? What do I do? Do I leave that in there? Or do I remove it? Hmm. <laughs> do I do it now? What should I do? What would you guys do? All right, let's do the right thing. Let's remove it. So I got enough room here. Yeah, I got enough room for electrics. Let's see if I got enough room for a grabby kind of tool. Let's get some big Texas tweezers. Let's see if I can get on the back side of this. 
Let me do a little one, two, grabby grab. Grab, grab, grab a roo. Let's see. Get a good bite. Come on, baby. One more. I have no legs. There we go. All right. Let's see if let's see if this is gonna be the one two. Let's see if this is gonna be the one two punch. Man, the side of this. These components in here are just disgusting. Ruining my my costume. All right, let's let's see if we can get it. Gotta do it the right way, folks. Success. I'm gonna oil this up so it goes back together with ease. Get this guy out of here. Look at that. Got it. We have all the fasteners. All five, plus the nut. Don't want to lose them. Um, but check it out. We have more room. Let's get this cable out of my way. I don't want nothing in my way. I don't want to see nothing. I don't want to be inhibited. But moving these lines. Get these little dinkleberries out of here. Must have been leaking for a while because the uh, the harness feels all all nasty. Definitely going to be removing this by hand. Let me know if you guys own a um, 88 tooth long quarter drive ratchet. I like it from Matco. All right, let's see if we can bust this loose. All right, we got it. Got Loctite on it, so it's probably going to be working it the whole way. Can't really get any power tools in there. You know, she's got Loctite, Loctite on it. Oh, she's squeaking like that. Okay, shoulder's starting to burn. And bolt is now looser. Okay, can get it with the fingers. Oh, and there goes the washer. This was part of the recall a long while ago. You had to take the bolt out and put a washer in between it. And if, I can't remember if, if it was leaking here or something, uh, you actually had to replace a trans line. So I remember this, it's been a while. Um, it does appear though, I might be able to separate these. If that's the case, then woohoo. Ooh, look at that. See that plastic just deteriorate right off? Ugh. Take a look at that. Look at these lines. Whoa. Nasty. Okay, so what am I gonna do now? What's the next step? I don't wanna keep getting leaked down, so I'm gonna leave these in. Let's go to the front and see what kind of mischief we can get into. All right, I'm gonna get my light. Let me go back over here. Got a MIA. Found my light. Found my light. No light. Light. No light. Light. Okay. No more fooling around. We are going to take these two bolts off all the way on both sides. I'm going to take the sway bar completely down and just rust it as far as it'll, you know, just, you know, far as it'll hang. Okay, we're getting the three it's air gun. 15 wobbly woo. 15 wobbly woo. Good enough. No, oh, not deep enough. Come on. Come on. All right, 15.
this doesn't always go as planned. You guys, I don't know if you could see if my head was in the way this whole time, but this bolt is spinning inside the frame. That was kind of messed up. So we are gonna have to get, a, and there goes my gun. We're gonna have to get a new fastener to slip in here so, so that this is, uh, that is right, but we got it out. You can see it's just all rusted. We've gotten ourselves just a little bit more room. The sway bar is just laying down here on the drag link. I'll have to worry about this in a little bit, but uh, let's go ahead and get the steering shock stabilizer out. That's a 15 mil. I'm gonna take that and swing that completely out of the way towards the driver's side. Stabilizer. Moving out of the way. All right, here we are on the passenger side of the trans lines where you see it bolted to the upper pan. Um, this has got a 10 mil connection. I almost tore my glove. 10 mil bolt, 10 mil nut. We just got to take that tether off. We already have it on the ratchito. Loosen. Loosening. Oh wow, that one came off nicely. I'm putting all the bolts, the fasteners that I'm taking off, just in one, one general little container. All right, well, there. The trans lines are completely loose from the side of the engine. What I am going to recommend that you do is we're going to take this off right here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a pair of diagonal cutters, and I will do this with the new one as well. I want you guys to do something, something just like this. See how I spread those fingers right there? That's gonna allow you to come back with a little screwdriver and you're gonna spread this. This is only gonna go back on one way, so you'll be able to figure that out or take a picture of it. But I'm gonna take that just like this and spread it just like I did on the new one and now my two lines are no longer going to be tethered together so what should we take one line out at a time which one should we take how big of a mess do you want to make we have one tether right here i don't care about that because we have a new one so i'm just going to totally break that and i think i'm going to cut these two rubber lines right here i think that's what my i think that's what my plan is i'm going to cut those two lines Let's get the drain pan here so we can drain whatever fluid's in the line because it's going to start gushing. It leaked a lot out, so we'll see how much comes out. She's leaking. Not very much. Let's do this one. You guys don't know what kind of uh, pliers these are. I don't know the name of them, but they cut right through rubber hose. No problem. Got a... Uh, it says blue point on them. All right, trans lines look like they're maybe done leaking. How about we pour this one down? Oh, there we go. There's some more. How about this one? Oh yeah. Alright, that's good, that's good. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll put, take the trans lines out the back way. Okay, there's one. One just popped out. This is the lower one. This has got the bracket dangling from it. I'm gonna let this leak out of the line real quick. A little leakage. Mind you, these are going to go back in a little different because they're going to be full length lines. So, 
just be prepared because they're not going to come out like these ones are. I wish, I wish that wasn't the case. Okay, I pulled both out of the side of the trans. Just gonna kinda try to work them. side. Pulling on the line, making a mess. Okay, here's one. Remember, she's missing a piece. All right, let's see if we can weasel this one out now. Okay, drop that one down. So the one with the bracket was the first one removed. So I'm gonna to try to put it back in the same way. So this is coming over the radius arm. Okay, be prepared to catch fluid coming out the end of the line. I see the, oh, there we go, check it out. This one came out way easier. Okay, gotta turn this back in for warranty. I put these is on the bench. Letting it leak out, it's making a mess. Oof, it's leaking all over. Now yeah, we'll put some rags over here. It'll be aight, it'll be aight. All right, so that is pretty much the back section. Uh, ain't no sense in really going and cleaning this off. I'll do it once it's done. But I got a straight, a straight freaking shot under the upper oil pan. So that's good. Um, all right, I guess let's go back to the front. All right, here we are, front side. Wipe these lines off, let me get my basin. Because we're gonna be leaking some coolant. I'm gonna go ahead and get this trim clip right here. I was showing you guys that plastic, the plastic little Christmas tree. We'll have a new one so it don't, it doesn't matter. There we go. All right, that's off. All right, let's go ahead and get the two bolts that hold the trans cooler. These are two nuts rather, two 10 milli nuts. There we go. Now you guys can see it. Got one more on the side. I'm gonna move my container. Because we got coolant that's gonna be leaking out. Let's get this one. Something like that. I just cleaned my cart too. Whatever. All right, we'll let that leak down. I guess if you guys wanna try to tuck it up here by the radiator. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this one. I'm on the driver's side now. coolant lines off so basically this is just trans lines and uh, trans cooler feels like this is gonna be a kind of a, a trickster to get this out because we have the lines attached to it still Coolant's gonna be a pain in the butt. Come on. 
you butthead. What are you looking at, butthead? Now nah, we're just gonna let it drain. Getting all over me. The freaking splash, man. Just makes a freaking mess all over the place. That's the worst. Just drain, my friend. Just take it all, just drain it. Just drain away, Bubby. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see this. Hopefully you can. Trans lines and trans cooler now are officially out. Letting it drain, that coolant, cooling all over the place. She's just draining, draining. All right, trans lines are out. Look how bare it looks. All right, I have the new trans cooler. The part number is Henry Charlie 3 Zebra 7 Apple 095 Boy. I'm gonna put the links in the description. Well, not the links, but the part numbers because I don't have links for you guys to get this stuff. This is for dealer, for dealer only. And only I say that because that's where I would recommend that you go. Uh, all right, where are our fasteners? New trans cooler going up. So one thing I want to tell you guys, you will have to transfer over the quick disconnect clips from the old cooler. It should not be a big deal. These are just little, little clips that come off. Okay, I'm gonna screw these 10 millis back down so that I don't have this thing flopping around. It should be, should be good to go. Okay, trans cooler tight on that side. Trans cooler tight on that side. Looks level. All right, so let's go over to the bench. I'm gonna show you what we have over here. This is the clip daddies I was talking about. So you're gonna just go and pop these off with a pocket screwdriver right here. And then we'll put those on the new one. We just gotta pop that off and get it over that ridge and then this will slide right off. No big deal. Okay, go ahead and pop these back in your lines. Popped, popped. I'm gonna put this line on right now. You can't get them messed up because the length of the lines are only gonna go on one port. Push it on, push it on. There we go. Okay, no more coolant leaking. And now we'll be able to run our lines for the trans right back through here. All right, let's get our new trans line bundle, unbundled. All right, here are the trans lines and here is the part number for the trans lines for your 17 through 19. And what I've already gone ahead, I've marked on each side of each connector um, tab, not connector tab, but the locating tabs, I should say, uh, where these are gonna be so that when I disconnect all of the attaching points, you'll quickly put this back in the truck. Now, I'm gonna use this line here, the one that has the metal adapter on it, this is going to always be the bottom line in this bundle. The bottom line, bottom line, bottom line. But when it comes up to, uh, you know, by the uh, steering shock dampener, uh, they change position from on top of each other to next to each other so just take into consideration uh, when when you do this you know where all these are going so I'm gonna start with the last one I removed and it was the top line in this one so I'm gonna disconnect all of these and I'm gonna start putting in the top line and get this one step closer to being done 
Alright, I don't know what I just did, if I wasn't filming or not, but I hope you guys saw this come forward, or really what I should say. I started with the long section of the first line and fed it in through the front. And I'm trying, still trying to get the right angle over here. Okay, I think I finally got it. I mean, you literally have to fight, find the right, the right position. Look, there it is. That's the upper one. That was a, that was a pain in the booty. Pain in the booty. Um, now this has got to go upstairs now, above this this bracket so that's a good thing we didn't we didn't tether anything let's see if I'm a spot back there it is there it is there it is okay all that working around I wonder make sure our gaskets are still on the trans all right we're good in fact, the ones that are in the trans now, I'm gonna take out. These ones are blue. I don't know what color yours are, but these ones are from, from the factory. Put that next to the bolt. All right, so the next, the next thing is the, um, is the other line. Um, I really hope you guys saw, was able to see me put that in. That was a kind of, uh, I looked at the GoPro, I didn't, I think it was recording, but, whatever we'll figure it out um you guys saw me put the coolant line on so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna just set the line in the cooler i just just set it in there so i can knock it up i know i'm gonna hit it when it, when the uh put the other one in but i didn't bend it i didn't tweak it or anything i feel confident about it all right let's get that lab Let's get the last one in. All right, I should have listened to myself. I shoved that one with the bracket through the front. Should have listened to myself. But I think, I think we're starting, starting to get it. I just need to fight this. I'm fighting this bend right here. And I'm trying not to bend this steel line. It's like right there. I just need to keep going back farther. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. My <sighs> fucking neck is hurting. No lie. No lie, cutie pie. What the heck is going on over there? Starting to break a sweat, dude. My neck is killing me right now. Glasses are fogging up. This is no joke. I don't know how you would be doing this on your back because, uh, yeah, this is this is a pretty uh, pretty good one. Shoot, I almost wish I was laying on my back. Oh goodness. My freaking neck is about, about on tilt right now. Jimmy Crickets, man. I gotta find it. 
Got to find it. It's got to be right here. It's got to be right here somewhere. Where's it at, fellas? <laughs> try to figure out what we got. This is this is beginning to be a pain in the the pain in the the rear. All I want to do is just get this last line in. That's a, that's a bad dude. That's looking like money, dude. That's looking like money, dude. Oh my good lord. That is what's up. I don't know what if you guys saw that, but... Oh my gosh. What a pain in the arse. Alright, so we got... We have these gaskets. They gotta go back in into the trans just like this. I'm gonna put the rubber squishy in the trans first, and then I'm gonna put this little collar on. Um, just so that I'm not fiddle farting around. I want this to completely seat the first time I put it in. So, okay, there's that one. This is the upper line. Okay, okay, I like the way that went. Here's my lower line. And here's my lines. Let's get this little collar on. Seat the line in here. There we go. I like that. I like that. Okay. Now, I did get a new bolt because it is uh, got Loctite on it. And I don't have any more Loctite. I mean, I do, but not this kind. It's funny, I walk away from the camera and I stop talking. And I don't have to stop talking. <laughs> Cause you're right here. All right, new bolt in the bag. Um, if you guys need part numbers, remember to check the description. The new bolt uh, for this is uh, Whiskey 715131S442. You're gonna need one, and if your truck came with one of those washers um, that you saw me take off the old one, I'm gonna put that one back on. I'm gonna put that one, oh, you can barely see me. Put it right in here, and then uh, I'm gonna tighten it down with that 88 tooth ratchet again. That worked really well. This is covered under extended warranty. So luckily this guy was able to get this repair done. No cost to him. Except for his uh, deductible, I guess. Okay, side of the trans. That's tight. I like it. And if you guys look right here, remember the line, the, uh, the spot I wanted to put that clip back. I took these all off on the bench, so here is our first clip right there. Check it. Now let's go to the front of the truck. All right, uh, here we are. I think I got a little twangledness going on here. I need this over here. Ah, oh, there we go. Just getting past this. <laughs> Piece of rust. Right in the mouth. Okay, this one's gonna go right underneath. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's how that's supposed to sit. Right here. 
our lines aren't twisted and look good. Now what I find really weird is that the lines that I made are really off. But I don't know. They could have, uh, you know, this thing could have slid down on the actual lines sitting on the bench. So that's where I could have, I could have went, went wrong. So now you have the chore of trying to close these back. Okay, something like that. Once you get one, it'll sandwich it together so you can just kind of flop over that ear like this. There you go, just like that. Check it out right under the stud. Check it, check it, check it. I love it when it works out like that. God dang, he's talking about it. All right, all those little bolts and such were in my little, my little catch-all. Uh, here we go. Got our 10 milli. Go ahead and cinch that boy down now. Okay, make sure they're not touching the K member. Make sure they're not touching the upper oil pan. I think I'm gonna try to do something. I'm gonna do something like this. Get a little more crimp on that. There we go. Or maybe something like this. There we go. Yeah, it's what I want. Okay, check that out. That. That is certified. That's proved. I like it. Going back to the back. Not touching the upper oil pan whatsoever. That's what I'm worried about. I don't want it to be causing a future chafe spot. All right, so now this little guy here. Let me get this, this trim clip. Uh, they're both going to sit in here. Let's get this little guy. Put this little guy up in here. Let's see if we can go ahead and clip this on first. And then slide it down the line. Sort of. Sort of. I mean, that was my intention, but I guess it gobbled onto there. Really good. All right, how about we put it in and then we push the lines through it. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's get this line on top of this line. All right. All right. How the lines are going to be sitting in your truck. I'll go ahead and push that one in and go ahead and push that one in and I have my last mark right here so that is going to be this clamp the plastic clam shell shouldn't be too big of a pain put the clip where we can access it and that oh I did it I didn't think I'd be able to do it with my fingers all right well, that's good Coolant lines are clipped on. That's good. Last thing, we're gonna need to put both those back on. I don't know if you guys have ever taken these off before, but they're not they're not too bad. 
kind of work this off like with a little screwdriver. Same thing, on, this one looks real crusty. Don't even want to spin. All right, both of them are off. So these should go right back on, no biggie. Only go on one way, all right. A little clip, a little clip, clip my doob dob. All right, so that leaves us, I guess we could put the, uh, the steering shock dampener back on. Fifteen milli. Now I did get the new part for the sway bar. Amazingly, we had it in stock. I couldn't believe it. I didn't think we'd have this, but it just slides in here like this, and that leaves me still. I completely forgot about this. I got to get uh, the old one out. Completely, completely forgot about this. So I guess let's uh, what see what we can do. Get a pair of grippies, a pair of grip grippers. What are your favorite grippers you guys use? Come on, come on, chili dog. Ugh. Come on, chili dog. Ugh. No. That was a, uh, there we go. What was I thinking? I was thinking about chili dog. Come on, chili dog. Ah! All right, that should be good. Let's see if we can rip this sucker off. Frickin' A, mama. Don't need that guy no more. But we, we will need this little guy and the four other nuts that decided they wanted to come off with absolutely no problem. We're swaying. I want one with the sway P on the back. What do you guys know about that? I want the I want the sweater with the sway P on the sway P on the back. You guys know about that? I want the sweater with the sway P on the back. All right, here we go. Tightening. Up oh, too long. Forgot about it. Okay, tight is tight. All right, the part number for the filter housing adapter gasket that you're gonna have to replace is BC3Z6840A. So this is the last thing I have to put on, or we have to put on, new gaskets on. I'm gonna break clean all this once I'm done. Get this thing put on here, got four eights, one 10 mil stud and a 10 mil nut. If you guys remember, a couple of these were rowdy. the nasty ones back in the nasty spots so I don't put that in a good spot I mean they're not too bad remember can't see all by feel once we get it in there you can usually turn it by hand at least there's no corrosion okay how about this 10 mil? Got anything in my way? I feel the hole right there. Boom. Move this harness away. Get a good couple of 
the spins on it. Then just go back and rip it. Go out for a rip with the electrics. There we go. All right, that feels good. For these little eight guys. Need a long, long, deep well for this one. A little extra room. Nice. Okay, 10 milli stud, last fastener. Fastening this to the upper oil pan. Okay, now that bracket for the battery starter cable has to go over that stud. I feel the stud. Where's the bracket? That's the bracket. There we go. It's in the hole. Pushing it all the way down. And here's the nut right here. Put this on. Spinning. Got it. Oh yeah. That's tight all the way. And put this back on. Okay, I was gonna say it didn't click, but it didn't come back off, so that's good. Alright, let me get a new let me get a new oil filter. Alright, new oil filter. Spinning. Give it a little one-two. Buckle my shoe. Nice. All right, it's brake clean time, and it's about to get it's about to get dirty. Let me charge this up. Make sure I have full full P PSIage. Here we go. Brake cleaning, getting all of this nasty. A lot of built up looks like oil from. Nasty oil changes, somebody not cleaning up. But amazingly, the paint's still staying on the line, so that's cool. That's cool. Blow this off with air. Get this oil pan. The whole underside of this thing is just covered with residue and stuff from the trans leaking. Hashtag brake clean mafia. Get all this. Oh yeah. I think the brake clean's running out. We might have to go fill it up. Oh no! And the front's not. The front's not too bad. Could use some Motorcraft shampoo and degreaser. That works really well too. All right, let's. Get this thing lowered down, and my friends, that is how you replace your trans line on your Super Duty. I'm going to start adding about seven, eight quarts of trans fluid Mercon LV. I'm going to let her run, check the fluid, and check for leaks. And also, don't forget to fill up your secondary cooling system. Let me know if this video helped you. Uh, it's not something I do all the time, and I haven't done trans lines on these in, in quite some time. So finding the the uh, orientation. Finding the right way to, to route them is, is kind of a, a challenge though. So let me know if this helped you. I appreciate you for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Underneath the duty, see ya.